He's caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. One of the things people do way too often in fishing is overcomplicate or overanalyze things, so we try to come up with all these parameters that so-called dictate fish activity, and many of them can at time to time be associated with it, but the main thing you have to realize is they're not constants, okay? So when we're talking about something like barometric pressure, you know, people want to make a rule like when the barometer's rising, the fish are off, and when the barometer's dropping, the fish somehow take on and feed because they anticipate that there's bad weather coming or they anticipate that there's a cold front coming through on a rising barometer and these things just aren't true what the fish are doing is actually reacting to what's going on in their world you know and when you see things happen like after a cold front the bait tends to get up and get under stuff and hide and during fair weather it tends to spread out and be more available for predation so a bass is kind of like an investor in the stock market you know when the economy is bad and people expect the market to go down they lay back because they don't have to spend money any more than a bass has to feed all the time we have to feed because we have to support a warm-blooded metabolism so we are dictated much more by schedules than bass are and bass tend to react just to conditions so remember that when you're talking about hard and fast rules of a storm coming in and the bass all of a sudden going on a huge feeding binge it's not true just look for the fair stable type barometers once once stability occurs then the fish can as a predator set up to feed on prey and the prey is in a predictable place if we're in a time of flux yes it can move prey and it can cause an opportunity sort of like a forest fire can cause an opportunity for predation and then after the fire there's nothing going on that's what I would compare a cold front to at times but most of the time when this weather is changing it's not a good thing so that I would say is what you really need to take home with this remember that change is unpredictable it's not always good. If you're trying to look for big bass, big bass are going to key in on that very, very stable element where they can predict what's going on over a long period of time and pick up a feeding schedule, set up to it, and connect. And that's how they get big, by feeding the most and by understanding nature's rules. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.